Hi, this is Joel Persinger. I'm the Gun Guy. Thank you very much for watching my videos and my channel, and I hope you had a wonderful and exciting Christmas. New Year's is just a couple of days away. Listen, I went to the range and I shot the guns I like to shoot, which, a lot, frankly, a lot of them are revolvers. I really like revolvers. They're a lot of fun to shoot, and then, frankly, the older I get, the more it is advantageous not to have to bend over and pick up my brass. And with revolvers, if I'm just plinking, I don't have to do that. Now, you may know from watching my channel that I carry a revolver most of the time. And the one that I carry most of the time is this little Taurus Model 85 uh, 38 Special Snubby with some Crimson Trace laser grips on it. And that's the gun that I carry the majority of the time. I painted the sights so that I could see them better because I'm getting older. I'm discovering I don't see as well as I used to, particularly in my right eye, which is getting worse and worse and worse, and uh, looks like it requires some surgery. So as a result, I've even started shooting uh, cross-dominant. So you'll see in the video today that I'm shooting with my left eye as dominant, having to close my right eye, which is kind of a drag. But, you know, it's like anything else. You get older and your body stops working the way it used to. You have to make adjustments in your life. Here's the deal with the snubby, though. I carry this gun most of the time because it's relatively light. It's an all-steel gun. They, they make an ultralight, but I carry the all-steel one. It's relatively light. It's relatively small. I can stick it in my pocket. I can carry it in a hip holster. Uh, I can carry it on my ankle if I choose to do so. There's lots of ways I can carry this gun. This is really my always gun. This is the gun that I always have. I may have a bigger gun for one reason or another, but if I don't have the big one, I always have this one. And sometimes if I have the big one, I have this one too. So this is a, a super reliable little gun that I like a lot. There are some great advantages to little guns, and there are some great advantages to revolvers. Obviously, revolvers are uber reliable. They always go bang, and they're not ammo sensitive. That's one of the reasons I like them. But here's the deal with a little gun. I run into people at the range all the time who carry little guns. And sometimes I, they're YouTube folks who will send me notes or emails or whatever, and they carry little guns. So maybe it's a little auto or it's a little revolver like this. And I ask them how often they practice with it, and they'll say, uh, no, I don't like shooting it. <laughs> well, here's the problem with that. If it's the gun you're going to fight for your life with, and on the rare occasion that you might actually need it, and you don't practice with it, you're going to have a tough time fighting with it. Somebody challenged me just not long ago in a comment and asked me, why do you shoot at 25 yards or why do you shoot at 15 yards with a snubby? Because that's not self-defense distance. And if you ever do that, that's not going to be self-defense. And you're going to go to prison and all this other nonsense. Well, that's probably true. The, the chances of my having to shoot at that kind of distance uh, with a gun like this are very, very small. But isn't it so that if I can easily hit the bad guy at 25 yards, I can easily hit the bad guy at 5 feet? If I can easily hit the bad guy at 5 feet, but I never practice at 10 or 15 or 20 yards, I don't know whether I can hit him or not. So I practice close, but I also practice far. I practice on a single target. I practice on multiple targets. This is all stuff you can do, by the way, on a square range. I don't shoot in a square range very much, as you can tell. But even if you're on a square range in a lane, you can still put up various different little squares that you shoot at or number them and practice engaging multiple targets. There's ways to do this stuff. But I encourage you, even if you carry a little mouse gun, whether it's a little 38 like this or a little 380 or something small, even if it's a little 25 or a little 22, you got to put hits on target, and you may have to do that at farther distances than you think. So you should practice at a little farther distance. Now, so that you know, of all the handguns I have, it's this one and my uh, Springfield XD Subcompact 40, which are the two guns I carry most of the time. It's this one and the 40 that I shoot the most. Now, why do you suppose that is? Well, it's because these are the two guns that I have with me all the time. Now, people have also said, well, it's, it's only got five shots. And my response is, yeah, that's what speed loaders are for. That's what uh, speed strips are for. And frankly, that's what practicing with the gun is for, because the chances of my being attacked by 10 people are pretty small. If I have two or three people wanting to rob me and I could shoot and I practice all the time, they're all going to get hit right squarely in the middle where it belongs. And I can do it pretty fast up close. Now, like I said, shooting at a distance is, uh, is good practice, and you should do it, because if you can shoot far, you can shoot close, and that's not necessarily the case the other way around. But one way or the other, no matter what gun you carry, particularly if it's a little one, but even if it's a big one, you should shoot that gun 
a lot. And you should practice with it right hand, left hand, two hand, one hand, right eye, left eye, because you don't know what kind of uh, situation that you're going you're gonna to get in. And that's what I do with this gun on a regular basis and with a little 40. But to be honest with you, of the two, this is my favorite. Have a great holiday. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Please support the channel. Uh, you can do that by buying through our Amazon link. If you want, if you're buying something from Amazon, just go to our website at gunguy.tv or gunguytv.com or gunguytv.net. Click on the Amazon tab at the top. You can also support us on Patreon for as little as a buck a month. There's a link for that in the description, and that'll get you access to some extra content that can only be found on Patreon. And whatever you do, don't discount these little snubbies. They're awesome little guns. Have a great week. Have a wonderful new year. I'll see you in 2018. And in the meantime, please be safe.